Highball Bakers, it's usually around the holiday season that we need breadcrumbs for recipes like homemade stuffing and even some traditional desserts like Christmas pudding. The thing about it is we find ourselves rushing to the store to buy a little amount of expensive breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna show you how you can make your very own at home really simply, saving you time and saving you money. So here I have my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can use a blender. You're just gonna have to move the bread around as it's blending. Over here, I have some bread. This is my recipe for white bread. This is at least two days old. The staler the bread, the better. So I'm just gonna add this into my food processor. You can break it up into chunks as you're going. Pop on your lid. And all you want to do is just blend this up until it's really fine. So the question I get about breadcrumbs is, can you use any bread to make breadcrumbs? And the answer is yes, you can, as long as it suits the recipe you're going to use it in. So if I was going to make meatballs and I had a loaf of sun-dried tomato and olive bread, that would work, i blend that up and it would work really well as breadcrumbs. I wouldn't use croissant breadcrumbs to make meatballs. So just think about the recipe that you're going to use. Also, another question is, do you have to cut off the crusts? If you want all white breadcrumbs, then cut off the crusts. If you don't care, then honestly, leave on the crust. It's totally fine. They don't make any bit of difference. Gorgeous, look at this. It blended super fine because my bread was a few days old. This is absolutely perfect. Now these are fresh breadcrumbs. So what you do is you can put them into the fridge and keep them in there for a week or keep them in the freezer for around four weeks. And then you can use them whenever you want them. If you want dried breadcrumbs, however, you're gonna pop them into the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 125 degrees Celsius for roughly 15 minutes until they dry out a little bit. Then you can keep those guys in the cupboard for a few days or they can also be frozen. I hope you found this video useful. Head to biggerbolderbaking.com. I've got a holiday baking headquarters there with every recipe you'll need for this holiday season from cookies to fondants to edible gifts. You will not be disappointed.